everybody i am rajkumar nagpal and uh, i am coming from synopsis and i am going to give some top level introduction of a5 physical layer so a5 physical layer is basically a industry first uh, standard which is basically in the automotive domain so this physical layer is primarily targeted for adas applications uh, for all kind of sensors camera radar lidar and uh, infotainment yeah so this is a point to point and daisy chain kind of uh, communication is supporting physical layer the structure of this physical layer is very modular uh, it is flexible and upgradable architecture targeted for you know end to end application topologies hardware focused uh, optimized for low uh, size header just for the high throughput uh, supports multiple speed grades for different solutions extremely low packet error rate of the order of times per minus 19 and end to end focus solution for security and function safety requirements so this slide basically provides you a top level you know overview of the afi the afi architecture is basically scalable and this is both m nrz and pam based so the lower gears are nrz and high gears are pam x based so with the pamx uh, you know uh, modulation your um, baud rate is low and your nyquist uh, rate is also less so you actually use very low bandwidth interconnects and so your s parameter and initial loss are less okay uh, noise immune device this uh, phi is putting in all the emc noise constraints which are actually validated in specific labs before putting into the specs um this uh, standards for the noise numbers are derived from lab measurements uh, with the mechanical stress ranging for the uh, you know vehicle life cycle as a target so there are two profiles supported in afi profile one is basically nrz based so it is actually offering low noise immunity is more like any normal sadness you know which we see in the market and actually it is um, supporting gear 1 and gear 2 and there is an optional gear 3 support okay pamx is a very high noise immunity physical layer uh, which is uh, suitable for any rugged and noisy environment and still it means a very good packet error rate of 10 to the minus 19 and by the way these two profiles interoperate at gear 3 and they are interoperating so if you look at the table on my right side is gear 1 2 3 4 5 you see the data rate supported the modulation supported the um, basically the nyquist bandwidth and you know effective throughput achieved in this data in this gears so there is one up, one uplink gear also which is basically uh, coming basically from sync to source and this is actually 100 mbps nrz system so effective throughput is 65 mbps so basically the top level architecture of this physical layer you know is um, shown in this slide so basically this is the channel this is your source this is your interconnect and node pcb wherein you actually segregate your power to signal and um, same way your uh, sync uh, you know structure wherein you have got an end node pcb wherein you actually are basically feeding in the power supply and then on the source you separate it out so it's basically supporting both forward as well as downward and uh, upward data traffic and um, apart from that it is supporting power delivery also so the channel supported are a shielded differential pair as well as coaxial and um, the nyquist data rates are low because of pamx modulation so and the channel is basically channel length is 15 meters so this is a long reach file and uh, basically the channel s parameter are optimized with four sections with uh, you know connectors you know joining these sections so this particular slide gives you a very top level building block of uh, source and sync side of the afi so basically this is having if i start from the bottom it is pmd physical media dependent blocks for pamx and rz downlink as well as uplink then you have got pcs layer which is physical coding sub layer then you have got a retransmission layer 
which is basically um, so basically a5 is sort of supporting a read transmission for a faulty packets and then there is a link element so this is basically similar for both source and sync approaches and um, for dedicated you know details of each one has to look at the specification apart from this this particular file is supporting just in time cancellations um, you can ask for that retraining and during the retraining you can tune out your dsp blocks to cancel out this noise so this is all and if you really have some more question you can reach out at admin at the rate of mp.org thank you very much